Yeah, Shelly, you can see right here on the corner of Shellwood Park and Copper, this is the memorial that's being held right here. It's still standing, and we've been seeing people coming in and out, lighting candles, giving gifts to remember her. But after what happened here, right here on this corner a week ago, some people that love her said today that their lives will never be the same. On January 18, 2017, I lost a lot. Um, the love of my life due to a fatal car crash. And ever since that day, I haven't been the same. A somber night for the hundreds who came to First Christian Church to pay respects for 14-year-old Shaylee Bowling. I cry every day for you. I don't know what to do without you. Those who knew her described her as a loving friend who stood up for others. Her family shared memories like giving her a seashell necklace as a token of friendship. I, I love you, Shaylee, and I, you're my best friend, and I want you to have this because I care for you so much. I remember she loved it. Police say Shaylee's three-year-old brother broke his leg in the crash. Her mother, Shauna, is still in the hospital fighting for her life. Now family can only pray for a recovery. I can't lose my, both my girls. I can't. And more than that, her three-year-old little boy needs his mommy. And Shaylee's best friend says she's just grateful to have a guardian angel looking over her. And that is no one other than my best friend and my sister, Shaylee Randbully. Now, one of those two suspects that fled this scene on foot is still running from police. APD is asking for anyone with information on 24-year-old Paul Garcia to contact them immediately. Live in Northeast Albuquerque, Chris Cordaro, KOAT Action 7 News.